Welcome to our informative video on starting a lucrative fish farm. In this video, I will be interviewing an expert who will reveal the secret to success in fish farming business, including how you can maximize profit with Finger Lakes prizes. Yes, it's Felix Oguche, Agrotronic Systems. This channel is dedicated to helping you to start, grow, and make money from my cultural business. Also, to give you information on new and advanced precision agricultural technologies and tools on how they can be used to increase efficiency and profitability. And also, I will explore other innovative technologies in agriculture, such as drone, robotic, and sensors, and how they can be used to improve crop yields, reduce waste, and optimize resources use. If you ever look for a video on how to start a lucrative fish farm and maximize profit with fingerless prizes, we are aware there are a lot of options for you. But in this video, I'm going to bring to you an expert by name Mr. Raymond Ederigbe, a business owner, I got your business owner uh, by the name Zoomarine Integrated Farms and consultant we will share with us why are we bearing the secret to success in fish farming business there is also bonus make sure you stick around to the end because i will be sharing with you a top list of equipment needed where you can buy them and total quantity of feeds required to raise your fish from hashing to adult of weighing about one kg and above so sit back relax and let's dive into the world of fish farming today Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself in the fish farming industry, including any challenges and success you have heard? Hello, my name is Raymond. I am the CEO of Zumara Intimidate Services. I'm also an agribusiness consultant. Um, having taught so many persons about how to be successful agribusiness owners, I felt I should also come into the game myself. So I got involved in um, aquaculture. Um, aquaculture is um, about um, rearing fish for consumption. And uh, some of the challenges I observed um, or I experienced during my my um, farming period was that um, the feed, the cost of feed was not regular. It's always increasing. And every week you get new price of the fish. And then also the issue of theft was there. Uh, people could come in around and then steal the fish when you are not around. Or even steal the feed, fish feed when you are not around. And also um, water quality. There was no way for us to control the water quality. We only have to just change water regularly. And uh, these were the challenges I've had. But so far, so good. The business is booming. And uh, when you come into it, you are sure of making at least your capital will be gotten and then uh, the certain percentage of uh, your profit will be given to you back. And uh, the cost of uh, getting fingerling is about. 40, 50 naira for one finger. And uh, the major fish we rear in Nigeria, mainly Nigeria, especially in Niger State, is catfish. And catfish is easy to rear and then um, you have less health issues. And even most of the time when you have health issues, industrial salt, sodium chloride. Sir, what are the essential materials and equipment needed to set up a fish farm? And where can one acquire them? So, aquaculture production involves um, you having a pond, either you have an earthen pond or a concrete pond, and then you have a poly, poly timber uh, pond or poly bag pond. Um, we, you, you also need a pumping machine for you to pump water and a, a source, source of water. Most of the time, it depends on river, but if you have um, a well or a bubble, to be okay for you, then you need to get a um, regular source of fish feed. The quality of the fish feed depends on where you are getting it from. Um, other materials you could need are uh, nets, um, 
maybe buckets that you use uh, once in a while, materials you, or a table that you use for sorting. Then you also need um, smaller fish tanks that you could also use um, in, in sorting your fish. And most of these materials can be gotten from the, the local market here. And then, for example, the fish feed is really getting from the western part of the country, so maybe Quara or Ibadan. It's usually come from Quara State and Bilori. That's where we get the. And the finger is usually gotten from Quara. And um, in terms of um, water quality, we really don't have any way of maintaining water quality. All we do is to change the water sometimes. So I just allow the river to flow through it using pumping machine on, pump, on a daily basis, sometimes 24 hours. And that's one of the major challenges that we face here, that you have to spend a lot of money on, on diesel or perhaps electricity. That's when it's available. Feeding of the fish is done usually in the morning and in the evening. But at the initial stage, you feed them up to like four to five times in a day while the finger is stage so that they can have enough to go around them. But when they are getting older, say from six weeks and above, you will have to feed in the morning and in the evening. And you feed them until they stop picking the feet. But it's not like you just pour the whole bag on it, but you put them in bits and you select a particular spot on the pond where you have to put the fish so that you can get them. What are the key factors that determine the profitability of farm and how can one maximize profit while minimizing costs? The major factors that determine the profitability in fish production is um, fish feed. Feeding is very expensive and um, it all determines the price. Other factors that you could consider would be cost of labor and then cost of electricity, especially if you have to pump water every day and where um, electricity is not readily available. And then um, also selling of our fish products is done locally, the local farmers. In Niger State, for example, we have uh, people who come to buy and sell in the market, while some we also come by and take them out of the state. That's how we sell in the fish that we, we produce here in, in Nigeria, basically. There are local consumers, usually for local markets. It's on very rare occasion people who smoke and, and then export them. Basically, it's just for local consumption. Earlier in the video, I said I will be sharing with you a top list of equipment needed to start, especially for theft avoidance, tips on where to buy them, and total quantity of feeds required to raise your fish from hashing to adult fish of weight about 1 kg and above. Number one, water pump. We all know the importance of water pump. Uh, it's very useful in getting water in and out of the pond. Then the string rail, the fish farming feeding machine, sorry, the fish feeding machine, bucket and tombs, aerators or air pumps, weighing scale, thermometers, solar panel, CCTV camera, handling of grading equipment and grading equipment, strings, pens, and measuring tape. Those are the list of uh, equipment or tools you will need. And then now to the bigger question. Total quantity of feed required to raise your fish from hatching to adult fish. Number one, the cost of fish feed in Nigeria varies depending on its protein content and size. Fish feed with protein content of 35% or 45% and sizes ranging from 0.5 mm to 6 mm are available. The appropriate size of feed for fish is determined by their age and sizes. The Copain's fish feed is currently priced at 9,000 in Nigeria and other brands like the Top Fish Feed, the Brown Crown Fish Feed, the Zegla Fish Feed can be purchased from feed stores or veterinary shops across the country at different prices. On average, a fish required 800 grams of feed to reach a weight of 1 kg, but some fish may require only 600 grams or 700 grams. 
to raise 1,000 fish to a to weigh of 1 kg and above, approximately 67 bags of fish feed will be needed, which is equivalent to 800 kilograms or sorry, 800 kilograms, yes, or 800,000 grams. This is the exact total of bags of fishes, which uh, of feet, which is 67 bags that you required. And I'm sure I'll be able, I've been able to give you those tips. Thank you. There you have it, folks. The secret to starting a lucrative fish farm in Nigeria uh, and elsewhere in the world, the only thing you need to do, just convert um, Naira to dollars and then to your own currency. Right now, uh, uh, doing this video, the conversion rate stands as um, at one dollar to seven hundred and fifty-five. Uh, sorry, naira. So you can do the conversion and you get those prices equivalent to yours also. Hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comment, please leave them below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more informative video like this. Please check our website u.agrotronicsystems.com and subscribe to the email list. There are a lot of uh, PDF articles there. You can also go through them. That those will be helpful. Thank you so much for being here with us up to this time. Uh, you can check the description below. Uh, there we have uh, links where you can buy some of these materials, equipment we mentioned. And you can buy them even from Jumia. You can buy them from um, Amazon if you have access to that. Then there are other companies in Nigeria that they farm paid. You can buy from there and they have they, we have other links for you you can check them and buy them we'll be happy if you do buy through our link thank you so much uh we will meet coming again with you with another interesting topic and to be able to educate you and help you to make more money thank you and uh, we also want to thank our expert mr raymond you were so amazing Thank you for the knowledge you've given to us and we are going to put all of that into practice and then make money. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.